exclusive contract with Felu Novel Network Novel. Mayman. Me, Infinite Dimension Super. People in Marvel have become mutants and are immediately being pursued. What should we do? Yi Lingren was numb, so he traveled on his own and ended up being chased when he came up. No matter how beautiful the North Star girl next to her is, she still has to survive. Fortunately, I obtained the Golden Finger and directly activated the perfect Golden Superman bloodline. Breathing blows out the sun, sneezing kills purple sweet potato essence, ignoring the paradox of time, pulling the star realm with power he is an invincible superhero. The ultimate god in the world. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 North Star and Golden Super Bloodline, Seeking You are listening at NovelFull.audio If they come, on my right, Yi Ling on your left. Be careful not to be hit by an anesthetic gun. A hurried sound came from the ear. It's a girl with a slightly cold and proud voice, but also mixed with a hint of nervousness. Yi Ling's eyes moved and slowly opened, revealing a dimly lit environment. Rusty and mottled thick pipelines are intricately intertwined, with the sound of water droplets coming from all over, as well as scattered shadows of people behind the pipes. This scene is like filming a movie. And the sound Yi Ling turned her head and, with the help of dim lighting, saw a delicate side face, as delicate as white jade under her green hair. The North Star girl with exceptional talent. No, the North Star is a character, reality doesn't exist, the other person should be Emma Dumont. The actor of the North Star. As a fan of Mei Mang, Yi Ling instantly realized. But why is he here, and why is he standing next to Emma? Have I traveled? In the dimly lit underground factory, memories of Yi Ling emerged. He has traveled through time. Now is Marvel World 2008, located in the northern part of New Jersey. The name hasn't changed, it's still Yi Ling, of Chinese descent. However, the difference is that he is a mutant. The variant ability is Rapid Advancement Under normal circumstances, Yi Ling's speed is twice that of an adult, and her burst can reach five times. Encountered an underground organization of mutants after awakening, and then joined. The current situation is that the underground organization has been discovered by the Mutant Surveillance Bureau and is currently undergoing encirclement and suppression. The little sister of the North Star is on his right side, and there are also Thunderbird and Carnation in front of him on the left it is worth mentioning that according to Yi Ling's memory, they only met the North Star during their eclipse for three months. The current relationship between the two is only a member of the underground organization of mutants. At most. It's friends. But now it's not important, what's important is that I'm in a very dangerous situation. The Mutant Surveillance Bureau, which is called Surveillance, is actually an organization that imprisons, chases, and studies mutants. Once caught, imprisonment is the lightest option, and one must undergo blood tests, bone marrow extraction, and even slicing. And Yi Ling's ability is very useless. At 2.5 times the speed of humans, it can truly run faster than the lightning warrior that reboots the universe or the fast-moving silver. I can't even see the butt of the black robe detective team's locomotive. What JB ability? Even at 10 times the speed of humans, they cannot dodge bullets. That is to say, he is now a normal person who runs faster, called a mutant with superpowers. That's insulting the mutant. But soon, a sudden electronic sound rang in Yi Ling's ear. Didi, the world replacement is complete, and the Meimang world battle game is starting. Start completed, detecting the world. World detection completed, Game synchronization in progress. Game synchronization completed, world gamification begins, the entire process may last for a few minutes, please do not shut down. Gamification synchronization completed, template loading, level system loading, title system loading, achievement system loading. Loading completed. Detailed information. 
players can choose to open and view it in their minds. World Background 1. Opening In 2006, the X. Men had already been destroyed, and the mutants could only hide underground and barely survive, while you became one of the mice among them at this moment, Captain Marvel is flying around in space, serving as the justice police of the universe Zeus, the king of the Olympian gods, hid in the garden, playing with lightning and indulging in sexual activity every day, Master Gu Yi sits on the summit of the Himalayas, fighting against the terrifying existence of this other universe. The supreme ruler and defender of the Nine Realms, Lord of Asgard and King of the Gods, Odin, has aged and is about to die the leader of the Cosmic Population and Family Planning Brigade, Mia Ba, is eyeing the infinite gem in the universe, game, start. A light curtain appeared in front of Yi Ling. Information appears directly in the mind. Only he can see the light curtain, which belongs to his golden finger. Golden finger name. Meimang World Battle Game. This belongs to a single-player game developed by his company in a previous life. The kind without authorization the entire game is a battle-style game with a beautiful and cartoonish storyline as its core. Players can enter various anime dungeons and gain experience, equipment, skills, talents, bloodline, achievements, titles, and more through battles. At the end of the game, it's not a problem to beat Purple Potato Essence and step on the Heavenly God group. Of course, before Yi Ling's time traveling, the strongest player level was only 93. Compared to the setting of Purple Potato Essence at level 150, it is still far behind. Through time, the game has become a golden finger, when starting for the first time, the character template automatically opens, and players need to view information. They can use mind control to view information. Name Yi Ling, Race Human race, age. 16, level. Level 0, 0 slash 100, power. 18, agile. 42, physical strength. 13, intelligence. 6, charm. 7, lucky. 4, PS, normal adult data is 10, talent. Beginner speed, achievement. Crosser, gold, after looking at the attribute panel, Yi Ling knew that she was a real waste. The data for normal adults is 10, but as a mutant, his strength and stamina are not much different from those of ordinary people. Even lower intelligence, charm, and luck than the average person. In other words, was his predecessor a mentally challenged, low emotional intelligence, and unlucky person? But what about the title? Before Yi Ling could think, the game had already given the answer. A light curtain emerged. Crosser. LV1, gold level title. Effect. Unaffected by fate and time, unable to be glimpsed into the future and past. Detailed explanation. Unique title, the ultimate title that can only be obtained with a probability of 1 in 8 trillion, no upper limit. Note. Existence beyond time and space cannot be ruled by fate. Whether the traveler is strong or not, Yi Ling is unclear. But this ability cannot solve the current difficulties. If caught by the surveillance bureau, who knows if the game is useless. But at that moment, the system sound rang again. Detected that the player is playing the game for the first time, and the newbie gift package is being obtained. Congratulations to the player for obtaining the Beginner Gift Pack X1, Novice Gift Package Distribution in Progress, Backpack System Loading in Progress. Backpack System Loading Completed, Template Update Completed, Players are requested to check on their own backpack. Seeing the four words of the Novice Gift Package, Yi Ling's eyes lit up. Backpack, the newly updated property panel has added the word Backpack. To open it, just open it with your mind. In layman's terms. Think. Backpack. Beginner Gift Pack X1. You have opened the Beginner Gift Pack Golden Light explodes and flashes. The next second, a prompt appears. Congratulations player. You have obtained Superman Bloodline, Gold, X1. Golden Superman Bloodline. 
Gold Level Bloodline Description From the advanced version of the Golden Super Bloodline in the DC Universe, after use, you can obtain the perfect Superman Bloodline, adapt to players, and display detailed information after use. P.S. Items in the backpack can appear in reality after extraction, adapting to real.life situations. In the game, obtaining different things has different radiance. Divided into White, Green, Blue, Orange, Purple, Red, and Gold There are seven colors in total, which means all items, talents, bloodlines, equipment, skills, titles, etc., have seven levels. Gold is the highest level. The Eternal Spear, Zeus's Golden Lightning, Infinite Gems, Chaos Magic, Infinite Wrath Now, including the title of Crosser, Yi Ling has received two types of golden rewards. And I have obtained the bloodline of the Golden Super. At that moment, classic lines from the famous tale of Journey to the West came to Yi Ling's mind. Wearing this golden hoop, you will no longer be an ordinary person no, if you use this bloodline, you will no longer be an ordinary person. It's Superman. Golden Superman. The situation is very critical. The brown-green eyes of North Star stared fixedly at the corner of the factory. The arrival of the monitoring bureau was very sudden, otherwise they wouldn't have been stuck in this underground factory. Even she is not sure if she can break through tonight. But if the hyena appears, she will have to fight it out. I will never surrender. But just as she wanted to cooperate with the code name, Speed, next to her, the other person actually remained silent. Are you afraid? The North Star is tilted too far. The deep green eyebrows furrowed, slightly dissatisfied. She stared straight at Yi Ling, and after a moment, her eyebrows relaxed, somewhat surprised. When the hyenas were about to arrive and everyone was in a huge crisis, how could they be excited? Chapter 2 I am an ancestor, seeking flowers, seeking collections. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Yi Ling did not answer the question from the North Star Girl. Now he is immersed in an extremely wonderful feeling. After merging with the Golden Super Bloodline, an incredibly powerful force of vitality enveloped Yi Ling's entire body. He could feel every cell in his body disintegrating and reshaping. At this moment, Yi Ling truly experienced the trembling sensation brought about by the transformation of the life level. Seeing Yi Ling, whose face was full of excitement, as if immersed in her own world, hesitating to respond, the North Star frowned. Their first reaction when these mutants see the hyena army is fear and tension. Yi Ling's performance is very abnormal. North Star did not suspect that Yi Ling was an undercover agent. Because they are all mutants, monsters in the eyes of ordinary people, even if they want to surrender, they will only be sent to the laboratory. However, Lorna no longer has time to figure out the situation of this companion named Yi Ling. Because of induction through a magnetic field, she saw Thunderbolt John, Eclipse Max, and other companions who had been attacked by the enemy. Without hesitation, the North Star rushed out and saw a team of fully armed hyena soldiers have already entered the underground factory, surrounding them. When she saw the equipment of these people, the North Star Lorna's heart sank. All the hyena soldiers have no metal on their bodies, even their guns and bullets are made of plastic. These people clearly came prepared. Immediately, the North Star waved its hands and a dense green light bloomed. Some metal parts on the ground immediately flew out and knocked down several hyena soldiers. At the same time, Jiaoshi also exerted all his strength, releasing a scorching light and temporarily forcing the surrounding soldiers to retreat. John used his invincible body to protect several weaker companions. The other mutant companions performed poorly and dared not attack the hyena soldiers at all. They established the organization only for self.protection, not every mutant's ability is suitable for combat, and not everyone is a warrior. The soldiers of the hyena army are carefully selected and elite, not only well-trained and well-equipped, but also have rich combat experience. Therefore, soon the mutant organization fell into the disadvantageous position. 
On this side, Lorna's snow.white skin burst with veins, and she tried her best to entangle several hyena soldiers. Even in such a critical moment, the North Star did not take any action, but did everything in its power to prevent these people or to knock them out with metal objects. Her ability is to control the magnetic field. If she really wants to kill someone, she just needs to use a sharp small part to pierce these people through their eyes. The kindness of the North Star cannot be exchanged for the gratitude of the hyena soldiers. These people are cruel and ruthless. In order to fulfill the orders of their superiors, they can ruthlessly pull the trigger even when facing the elderly and children. Moreover, Lorna's efforts were of no use because the number of hyenas in this troop was too large. Just as both sides were entangled, more footsteps sounded. Realizing that the situation was not good, Jiaoshur immediately shouted, Thunderbolt, help me. After hearing the call of Jiaoshur, Thunderbolt immediately activated its ability and rushed to Jiaoshur to absorb his firepower. In the next moment, Jiaoshur erupted with its strongest force, releasing a strong and dazzling light that illuminated the entire underground factory. Under strong light, the attack of the hyena army was slow, even with protective goggles, it was a bit uncomfortable to face such dazzling light. Sweat oozed from his forehead while he was eating, and he said to John and the other mutants, let's go. The distant North Star saw this scene and waved his hands continuously, instantly activating strong electromagnetic control ability, using metal to create an escape passage for everyone on the wall. At the same time, she shouted loudly, you guys go ahead and leave me alone. After speaking, the North Star pushed its hands and countless metal parts flew towards all the hyena soldiers. Quickly, members of the mutant organization fled the underground factory through that escape route. The eclipse finally reached its limit, and the light in hand dimmed. The hyenas, whose vision had returned to normal, rushed one after another towards the dying North Star. From this, Lorna couldn't escape in time no matter what. The dark-skinned Jiaoshir hesitated for a moment, then looked at Lorna with apologetic eyes and gritted his teeth before rushing into the escape passage. Only the North Star Lorna and a group of vicious hyenas remain in the entire underground factory. Faced with a large number of hyenas, the North Star quickly became unsustainable. She was momentarily stunned before being restrained by several hyena soldiers. With a crisp sound, the North Star's hands were handcuffed and a collar was worn around his neck to suppress the mutant's abilities. Just then, a deep, cold voice came from outside the door. Go and catch all those mutants and monsters, leave no one behind. Monsters should be trapped in cages. Immediately afterwards, a tall and cold-looking middle-aged man walked in. The man was wearing a golden lieutenant's shoulder badge. The lieutenant glanced at the North Star with the gaze of his prey and said indifferently. It seems we have caught a small fish. Saying your companion's whereabouts can spare you from dying. After speaking, he reached out to grab the girl's fair chin. Pooh. Lorna tilted her head to avoid the opponent's big hand and spat fiercely at them. It's a fierce horse, I like it. After speaking, the cold man drew out his dagger and showed a fierce smile. There is a centipede-like scar on his right face that trembles slightly, looking very frightening. As he spoke, the cold and gloomy man aimed a sharp dagger at the North Star's eyeball, pretending to stab it. The sixteen-year-old girl's body trembled slightly, and she closed her eyes in despair. At this moment, a strong and powerful voice came from the darkness. Take your paws away. Upon hearing this sound, the hyena leader and Lorna were both taken aback and turned their heads to look. Then everyone saw a tall and handsome young Chinese man walking out of the darkness. This person's clothes were inexplicably tight, even breaking in some places, highlighting the young man's terrifying sense of power. This perfectly proportioned man gives an unparalleled sense of oppression just by standing there. Seeing the dazzling and majestic man, who looked like a divine weapon descending from the sky, Lorna was surprised and said, Yi. Is Yi Ling you? When she first saw Yi Ling, Luna was pleasantly surprised and moved. At least this person was not timid, 
and someone was willing to stand up for her at this time. When she saw Yi Ling's appearance clearly, she felt a bit hesitant to recognize her. Now Yi Ling is in high spirits, and her figure is even more exaggerated than those models. Is she really a person? The cold and gloomy man looked at Yi Ling with a venomous snake-like gaze and said, You mutant little bug dare to come knocking on your door. You're looking for death. I'm not a mutant, I'm an ancestor, Yi Ling said with a refined and easy going smile. Chapter 3 The Heavenly Gods Descend to Earth, Level Upgrade, Seeking Fresh You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Looking at Yi Ling, who was confident and fearless, Lieutenant Hyena sneered and waved his hand. Suddenly, several hyena soldiers around raised special firearms and pulled the trigger directly. In an instant, more than ten specially designed rifles quickly poured bullets, and a dense collection of specially designed anesthesia bullets completely enveloped Yi Ling's body. In the rain of gunfire and bullets, Yi Ling's figure remained motionless and her eyebrows did not even move. Under everyone's surprised gaze, those sharp anesthesia needles only scratched Yi Ling's clothes, not even his skin. The North Star widened its eyes, a pair of emerald-like eyes filled with shock and doubt. Isn't Yi Ling just a little faster? How could he be so strong? Are you satisfied? At this moment, Yi Ling, who was unharmed, smiled calmly at the bewildered hyena soldier, so, now it's my turn. Don't worry, each of you just needs to take a punch from me. After speaking, he waved his fist and his figure disappeared in an instant. Seeing this scene, the small head with a cold expression shrank its pupils and then turned black in front of him. In a dirty and run-down small hotel on the outskirts of New York in northern New Jersey, Yi Ling took off her tattered clothes and said to the recently escaped North Star Lorna, I'll take a shower. After speaking, he revealed his slightly raised eight-pack abs. The current body is not only full of strength, but also so perfect that it is not like a human, more symmetrical and stylish than any male model or bodybuilder. Seeing the muscular body in front of him, which can be considered a male template, the usually wild and unrestrained North Star couldn't help but blush. Looking back on the scene of Yi Ling's great power, the North Star Lorna, with her snow-white skin and delicate appearance resembling an elf, still feels a bit unbelievable. Yi Ling, who was bursting with all her might, was like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, smashing away all the fierce hyenas and soldiers with one punch. The powerful explosive force and lightning-like speed are unstoppable, and the awe-inspiring power is like a heavenly god. In the perception of the North Star, although the abilities of mutants are incredibly strong, they also have limits. She had never seen such a powerful mutant before, and Yi Ling was stronger than any of them. Just now, North Star saw with his own eyes the cold and gloomy man who threatened him spitting out blood and flying into the air. After landing, his eyes gradually lost their color. All along, her education required her to be a good person, and everyone wanted to control her, set rules for her, and constrain her abilities. The North Star itself has also been affected and has chosen to show mercy to the enemy, but has not taken any action. Yi Ling's ruthless methods are not in line with the perception of the North Star, and other mutant companions will not approve of Yi Ling's actions. However, she had to admit that at the moment she saw the bastard die, her heart was indeed very happy. In addition, the changes in the image and strength of Yi Ling before and after also surprised North Star. There is a speculation about the North Star. The reason why Yi Ling's strength suddenly became so strong is because the crisis of life and death suddenly stimulated her own potential. This situation is actually not uncommon. Although each mutant is born with a predetermined type of ability, the strength of their abilities is not fixed and will gradually become stronger as their potential is developed. Luna's own electromagnetic control force is in this situation. At the beginning, she can only move one needle and the speed is also very slow. But now, she can use metal objects to drive herself to fly. Yi Ling may also be in the same situation, with a slightly larger increase. Thinking of this, a brilliant light flashed in the eyes of the North Star. 
Is it true that Yi Ling is a mutant with immense potential, so just releasing a little bit of potential will bring about a huge change in strength? If that's the case, maybe Yi Ling's abilities can reach the level of the legendary X. Men in the bathroom, Yi Ling, who was constantly changing guns, allowed the water to flow through her solid muscles. He calmly looked at his attribute panel. Name Yi Ling, Race Human Race, Bloodline Golden Superman, Preliminary Fusion, Level Level 1, 10 200, Age 16, Power 85, Agile 200, Physical Strength 87, Intelligence 80, Charm 83, Lucky 4, PS, Normal Adult Data is 10, Talent Beginner Speed, Achievement Crosser, Gold, Free Attribute Point 2, Apart from Luck, Yi Ling is now several times better than a normal person in all aspects. Because it is a comprehensive improvement in strength, his strength has reached a terrifying level. After enhancing physical fitness, the previously mediocre ability to quickly advance has become a divine skill. An average person's speed increases by 2-5 to five times, which is still average and not a big threat. But if we increase the speed of flash a few times, maybe we can just go back in time and restart the timeline. This ability to increase strength by multiple is actually similar to post-game skills, and of course, the stronger one's own strength, the more powerful it becomes. With the bonus of Golden Superman Bloodline, Yi Ling's speed had already reached a very fast level. After unleashing his rapid advance ability, his speed exceeded the limit that those hyena soldiers could react to. Eight times the power of an ordinary person is already terrifying, coupled with super speed. With a single punch, even the hyena soldiers protected by combat uniforms turned into pancakes. As she pondered, Yi Ling focused her attention on the column of the Golden Superman bloodline, and a prompt immediately appeared above. The junior iron body has been awakened. Yi Ling nodded in satisfaction. The anesthesia needles equipped by hyena soldiers have a strong penetrating power and can easily penetrate rhinoceros skin, but they have no effect on his skin. Superman's defense is indeed not covered, even a junior steel body can easily achieve invincibility. Then, Yi Ling focused her attention on the level, and indeed, messages appeared on top of it. Kill an ordinary hyena soldier and gain 10 points of experience. Kill an ordinary hyena soldier and gain 10 points of experience. Dot. Kill ordinary Lieutenant Jenkins and gain 50 points of experience. Upgrade to level 1 and obtain 2 free attribute points. Without hesitation, Yi Ling directly added 2 free attribute points to luck. It's impossible to be a non-chieftain, it's impossible in this lifetime. After adding points, Yi Ling closed the attribute panel and hummed a tune to start taking a shower. Quickly, after taking a shower, Yi Ling looked around and frowned. Finally, he could only walk out wearing a slightly small towel. Did you just come out like this? Looking at Yi Ling with her bare upper body revealing her ancient bronze skin, a faint blush reappeared on the skin that could be shattered by the North Star's blow. Looking at the beautiful North Star girl, Yi Ling said nonchalantly. I'm not without clothes to wear, and besides, we're all comrades in arms. It's nothing. North Star Lorna nodded and said, Okay, rest. As he spoke about the North Star, he glanced at the small and pitiful room, as well as the lonely bed, and then at Yi Ling, who only had a scarf around her waist. The atmosphere suddenly quieted down. At this moment, Yi Ling gave the North Star a meaningful look and said, Why did you only open one room back then? Chapter 4 Going to Washington, Seeking Flowers, Seeking Collections You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the small hotel, Yi Ling and North Star, look at me, I look at you, and the atmosphere suddenly feels a bit stiff. After a moment of silence, the North Star spoke up, for the sake of confidentiality, only one room can be opened. Yi Ling shrugged her shoulders. You are the boss, and you are the the final say. I sleep near the door. 
After speaking, he lay down confidently. Having experienced too much on this day, Yi Ling relaxed her mind and quickly fell asleep with her eyes closed. Looking at Yi Ling sleeping soundly, the North Star hesitated for a moment before lying down. Then she glanced at Yi Ling's handsome face, and her furrowed brow immediately eased. The exhausted North Star quickly sank into a deep sleep. John has checked the condition of all members in the underground base of the Mexican mutant organization. Several mutants were seriously injured, and due to the lack of medication and medical conditions, those mutants could only endure hardship. However, even so, it's much better than being sent to the prison of the regulatory agency, where the real hell is. Therefore, the mutants they rescued all looked at John with grateful and trusting eyes. At this moment, John no longer had the joy and ease he had when rescuing his companions in the past. He looked at Max with a serious expression and said, We've lost the North Star and Yi Ling. They must have been caught by those hyenas. At this moment, Max's expression was also very ugly, and he said in a muffled voice. I had no other choice at the time, and choosing to stay would only result in sacrificing myself in vain. I had to escape to protect more companions, which was the most correct choice. As a former drug dealer, Jiaoshir Max is accustomed to the dark jungle rules and doesn't think there's anything wrong with his self-preservation approach. Upon hearing these words, Thunderbolt John frowned and said, We must save Lorna. We owe him this. Max said helplessly, How can we save it? We don't have anyone, we don't have intelligence. There will always be a way. John looked firm, when we established the organization with Lorna, we agreed not to abandon our companions. John Thunderbird was once an excellent soldier who took the initiative to fight for his country. After the mutant civil war, John was wanted and pursued by the country and people he wanted to protect due to his identity as a mutant. Afterwards, at the invitation of Ms. Ivan, he became the leader of the underground organization of mutants and began to fight for their survival to this day. This experience has cultivated John's unwavering determination to never give up good qualities. Max recognized the determination in John's words and nodded, I'll find a way to inquire about their whereabouts. The headquarters of the Mutant Supervision Bureau, as the commander of this operation, the bald man Turner, is reporting the defeat to the lieutenant general beside him. This general is adorned with medals, with gray hair and a tall figure. His eyes are like those of a falcon, and he is very sharp. At this moment, they are watching the surveillance footage obtained from the sacrificed soldiers. The video started with Yi Ling punching and striking, and everyone only saw a ghostly silhouette flickering continuously. The situation turned sharply downwards, and the hyena soldiers let out angry roars. He killed Lieutenant Jennings. I saw him, change bullets, fire, kill him. No, he's not there, God. The screams of surprise gradually turned into screams of agony and begging for mercy, and everything returned to calm. The final screen of the monitor froze on a young and handsome face. The man's face has obvious Asian characteristics, with outstanding facial features and sharp edges, shining like ancient Greek sculptures, making it difficult to divert attention at a glance. Turner swallowed his saliva and said to the tall general, your Excellency, this is all the data. He killed all my subordinates on his own. The general raised his eyebrows and looked at the face of the monitor with interested eyes. It seems that I need to prepare a larger display cabinet this time, as this type of prey is more interesting. Let Campbell participate in the operation, just to test the power of those small toys. After hearing the name Campbell, Special Agent Turner frowned, but ultimately reluctantly nodded and accepted the order. The next morning, the North Star woke up with a satisfied smile. This night she slept with unprecedented peace of mind and sweetness, and it was particularly warm. Feeling the scorching temperature emanating from her surroundings, North Star quickly opened her eyes and saw that she had already embraced Yi Ling's sturdy body at some point. For a moment, Lorna didn't know what to do. At this moment, Yi Ling also opened her eyes and the two of them met again. After seeing Yi Ling wake up, North Star's face turned red again, 
and he immediately released his hand and stood up pretending nothing had happened. Seeing this scene, Yi Ling shrugged her shoulders and didn't say much. In fact, in the middle of the night, Yi Ling felt a soft and fragrant body arching over. He didn't want to hug him, as if he was holding on to a large pillow. Afterwards, Lorna disguised herself and went out, bringing new clothes and breakfast to Yi Ling. With her new clothes, Yi Ling finally got rid of her awkward appearance of being naked. After finishing breakfast, Yi Ling glanced at Lorna and said, What are your plans next? Lorna pondered for a moment and said, Let's go to Washington first. There's an informant and a safe house there. Yi Ling has no objection to this decision. Soon, the two of them boarded the train to Washington. The North Star deliberately chose a position closest to the exit, and the two sat together like a couple. Yi Ling still chose to sit in the outermost position, so what's the danger? He can take care of Lorna as soon as possible. The North Star who saw this scene didn't say much, but the corners of his mouth slightly curled up. In the midst of her boring journey, Lorna began flipping through the newspaper. As she watched, she even recited, Billionaire Tony Stark announced that he will be conducting new weapon tests in the desert soon. Lorna pointed to the arrogant middle-aged man in the newspaper and said Tony Stark has created so many deadly weapons that he has killed more people than we do. Why can he make headlines every day, but we can only hide around? Yi Ling was very speechless. Are you comparing yourself to others? They spend billions of dollars making toys without blinking their eyes, and your pockets are cleaner than your face. They pay more taxes in a year than all of you put together in your lifetime. If you want to use Stark, you need to pass the IRS first. Although Lao Wan and his family are all seen figures, they are not cultural figures. Even if Lao Wan can score 60 points in mathematics, physics, and chemistry, he will not be jokingly referred to as the King of Iron. North Star Lorna Dane is even unaware of the basic national conditions of a beautiful country. In this magical country, even their mutant abilities are very useful. Here, having money can really solve the vast majority of problems, and having no money is the original sin. Chapter 5 Sentinel Attack, Seeking Flowers, Seeking Collections You are listening at NovelFull.audio On the high-dot-speed train, several passengers in front frequently turned around to look at the young Asian man. At this moment, Yi Ling was bathed in the sunlight, and her whole body seemed to sparkle like a sculptural deity. The sunlight released by the yellow sun on Earth is the best nourishment for Superman. With the continuous influx of sunlight outside the window into Yi Ling's body, his various attributes are rapidly strengthening, and new abilities are also being nurtured. He closed his eyes and quietly experienced the feeling of his body rapidly strengthening everywhere. His perfect figure, handsome face, and inexplicable temperament, like a heavenly deity descending to earth, have a 100% chance of turning heads. The appearance and temperament of the North Star are also unparalleled, but against the backdrop of Yi Ling, it appears as inconspicuous as the green leaves next to the red flower. At this moment, several little girls in the nearby seats were watching Yi Ling whispering, occasionally emitting silly laughter. This person is so handsome. He must be a big star. Take a quick photo and tweet. As she spoke, several girls took out their phones and slapped Yi Ling wildly. The North Star snorted coldly, and a green light flashed in their hands. Suddenly, the screens of these girls' phones turned black and temporarily unusable. So only mutants will be excluded. Even though Yi Ling was fully absorbing the sunlight, she accurately captured the scene of the North Star's ability to activate. You also said that it wasn't because of you that you attracted unnecessary attention, Luo Na, who was originally somewhat proud, glanced at Yi Ling. Yi Ling looked helpless and said, I don't want to either. It's my fault for being too charming. If it's just about appearance and body shape, it's not possible to achieve this explosive effect, mainly because he's absorbing sunlight and constantly getting stronger. As a result, Yi Ling exuded a scent of evolution towards higher levels of life throughout her body. 
The thirst for the evolution of life is an instinct buried in the biological bloodline. Therefore, Yi Ling appears extremely attractive. After using his abilities to eliminate the risk of intelligence leakage, North Star couldn't help but glance at Yi Ling again, feeling that the odor emanating from this person was very pleasant. She has not fully recovered from frequent use of her abilities yesterday. In no time, the North Star began to nod its head like a chicken pecking at rice. She soon fell into a deep sleep. In the past, Lorna would never have fallen asleep so easily in public places. Without this vigilance, she would have been caught long ago. However, with Yi Ling by her side, Luna felt very at ease and easily entered a state of relaxation. Yi Ling, who was immersed in the constantly increasing pleasure, felt a heaviness on her shoulders as something soft leaned against her. He also heard a faint breath in his ear, sweet and moving, with a fragrant breeze blowing. Yi Ling smiled slightly and refocused most of her attention on her constantly strengthening body. But even with a little bit of attention, no one can hide anything around him. The young girls next to her looked at the North Star leaning against Yi Ling, their envious eyes turning red. They wished they could sacrifice their ten dot year lifespan and replace it with their bodies. Half a day later, on the train, the long eyelashes of the North Star shook a few times. When they opened their eyes, a confused light appeared in their emerald like pupils. Immediately, she felt like she was leaning against a warm stove, very warm and comfortable. Feeling the familiar warmth, North Star's body stiffened, and then calmly moved his head and body away from Yi Ling's body. There's a problem. At this moment, the North Star looked around cautiously and keenly sensed the anomaly. The surroundings are too quiet. At this moment, Yi Ling spoke up and said, You only know. Even if you don't see anyone, the train has stopped. He had already realized something was wrong. However, Yi Ling did not stop the regulatory agency's clumsy evacuation operation. He didn't even think of taking the opportunity to break through. Because Yi Ling has great confidence in his own strength and is open to combat. When Lorna looked up, she found that the passengers around her were empty, and the train was also parked in the outskirts of the city. The surroundings were deserted, making it obviously very suitable for hands. On activities. She said regretfully, I shouldn't have slept so hard. I was too careless. At this moment, Yi Ling stood up and whispered, Here we go. I only heard a rustling sound, accompanied by a metallic joint rotation sound. Quickly, a group of silver mechanical spiders crawled in from the entrance of the carriage and charged towards the two people in a scattered manner. Each spider has a small body size, but its eight claws like arms look exceptionally sharp. Every mechanical spider is expensive and an absolutely deadly killing weapon. And in the carriage, their small size is actually an advantage, which means they can ambush Yi Ling and North Star from any place. However, looking at these mechanical spiders made of metal, the North Star's expression changed and a confident smile appeared. She waved her right hand and the green light flickered. Suddenly, several mechanical spiders in front of her flashed electric sparks and were scrapped on the spot. Hmm. North Star furrowed his brow. Although these machines were made of metal, they had a special power. This special force is resisting her control, otherwise these mechanical spiders would be twisted into fried dough twists on the spot. At this moment of confusion, several silver mechanical spiders had already swung their claws towards the North Star. Even if restrained by the abilities of the North Star, the agile and fast advantages of mechanical spiders make them extremely threatening. At this moment, a steel-like arm swept straight over and swept away these mechanical spiders. Yi Ling looked at the mechanical spider on the ground, whose body was torn apart but its head could still maintain movement. She stepped over and took a look. It seems that it has undergone special treatment, not only eliminating magnetism, but also intentionally reinforcing it. These little things are obviously aimed at transforming the abilities of the two people. Marvel World, there are always some strange black technologies. Lorna next to her explained, these are sentinel robots specifically designed to capture us mutants. 
Yi Ling nodded and scanned the carriage, discovering that many sentinel robots were hiding under their seats, waiting for an opportunity to move. This thing seems to have a certain level of intelligence, but it is 100,000 times shorter than the sentinel robot that kills all directions in memory. Yi Ling Long, who had absorbed the sunlight, was fierce and felt a great deal of anger. He naturally won't let go of these targets that come to his door. In the next moment, Yi Ling immediately activated her ability to quickly advance, turning her entire body into a silhouette. In the blink of an eye, he quickly cleared the entire carriage, and all the small sentry robots were punched by Yi Ling. The first wave of action by the regulatory authorities was of no use, except for a pair of scrap iron, which they did not receive. Chapter 6 Pulse cannot move, seeking flowers, seeking. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The North Star looked at the carriage as if it had been swept by a tornado, and then looked at the faint green light between its hands, shaking its head helplessly. Watching the video transmitted back from the surveillance equipment, Turner, the bald commander of the Mutant Surveillance Bureau, picked up the walkie talkie and said in silence Millions of dollars, is that all? Is this the latest masterpiece of your Sentinel Laboratory? Dr. Campbell, if you don't have any other cards to play, then you should solve them according to our regulatory agency's approach. Dr. Campbell's voice came from the microphone. Don't worry, this is just an appetizer. Let your men kill you, and I will have someone cooperate with you. Are you sure? Turner looked at the surveillance equipment in front of him with a headache inside the command car. On both sides of the main screen, there are two rows of screens with different functions, each of which monitors and analyzes the mutant person in the carriage from different perspectives. This includes infrared thermal energy, brainwave intensity, physical intensity, electromagnetic intensity, and so on. Every piece of data indicates that this mutant is very powerful. This guy named Yi Ling has no weaknesses. At this moment, Campbell's confident voice came from the microphone. As long as it's a mutant, it's impossible to escape my control. He will be my best experiment. I can't wait to start. Crazy. Turner, who had put down the microphone, cursed inwardly and then instructed his subordinates beside him, you guys, take your people inside, be careful, don't be impulsive. Then he cursed fiercely, these mutants are all monsters, damn them all. I hope our opponents can be stronger this time. In the carriage, Yi Ling heard the commotion outside the door with a calm expression on her face. Lorna looked around cautiously and suddenly realized that something was wrong with her body. At the same time, several steel pipes hovering around her fell to the ground. My abilities are unusable. What's going on? Lona's words revealed a rare hint of panic. At this moment, Turner in front of the screen looked at the scene in surprise and murmured, that Campbell guy didn't lie, he really works. He immediately grabbed the walkie-talkie and ordered his men to take action immediately. They have lost their ability and can now go, 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 go. After receiving the order, several fully armed hyena soldiers rushed into the carriage with excitement on their faces. You should know that this time the target has been given many rewards, both openly and secretly. Whoever can catch this guy will reap both fame and fortune. In front of Dao Lu, the usually calm elite soldiers also nodded up. In front of these soldiers, a tall white man in prison uniform walked step by step towards the two of them. The man's eyes were constantly flashing with golden light, like pulses. Every time it flickers, the surrounding electronic machinery bursts with sparks or directly distorts. At this moment, Lorna was still working hard to sense her own abilities, but her usual arm-like ability no longer existed. At this moment, Yi Ling remained motionless and seemed to have lost her ability as well. But in fact, his ability is only slightly suppressed and can still be used normally. And even if the mutant's abilities cannot be used normally, it will not affect Yi Ling's ability to crush these ants. He looked up at the white man with a dull expression, constantly releasing his abilities. This mutant, known by Yi Ling and nicknamed Gus Pulse, has been imprisoned for a long time. Two years later, 
he will be rescued by the mutant organization and become friends with John and Lorna. Then he was caught again and transformed into a weapon. Now, due to the appearance of Yi Ling, the pulse has been pre-modified and controlled. Yi Ling clenched her fist, the regulatory agency and the Sentinel laboratory were a bit inappropriate. At this moment, a few hyena soldiers who arrived saw the two of them motionless, proudly whistled and looked at them with malicious eyes. Surrender obediently, monster. If you lose your ability, you are useless. As soon as they finished speaking, Yi Ling's figure disappeared before their eyes. When Luna was trying to revive her ability while trying to eat milk, she felt a flash in front of her, and the Yi Ling in front of her had already disappeared. She rubbed her eyes and heard screams and the sound of heavy objects falling in her ear, causing the entire carriage to shake violently. Lorna immediately grabbed the armrest of the seat next to her, barely maintaining her balance. At this moment, with a bewildered expression on her face, isn't Yi Ling powerless? What the hell is going on here? When everything returned to calm, the North Star saw that Yi Ling had already stood at the door of the carriage. Under his feet lay hyena soldiers lying haphazardly, and the mutant with a golden light in his eyes was also lying on the ground, life or death unknown. At this moment, Lorna sensed the electromagnetic force again and her abilities were restored. Is it so fast? For Yi Ling's strength, the North Star has once again gained a new understanding. In the command car, Bald Turner's expression was very unpleasant, and he loudly said to the walkie-talkie. Campbell, is this your plan? All my subordinates have sacrificed themselves. How do you want me to explain to their families? However, on the other side, there was no response at all. At this moment, a nearby subordinate suddenly pointed to a flying object in the instrument and said, Sir, you need to come and take a look at this. Several old detectives became nervous when they saw the flying object. They saw at a glance that this thing was a famous patriot. However, in the homeland near the capital of Washington, using this thing to deal with one's own citizens is very troublesome and difficult to suppress. A few old experts have already begun to imagine that if public opinion erupts, they may be held accountable. The most important thing is that if it's not good, they will be affected. Turner looked up at the missile flying towards here with its tail flame, paused for a moment, then became angry and picked up the walkie-talkie, shouting loudly. Campbell, are you crazy? Do you know where this is? Don't drag us down if you want to die. Campbell's almost crazy voice came from the microphone. As long as I obtain a sample of this mutant, my experiment can go further and create more powerful weapons. By then, we will be able to secure military orders, and this loss is not a problem at all. Science and humanity will remember your sacrifices. Turner no longer has time to pay attention to this crazy Campbell. He shouted to his subordinates, what are you still waiting for? Evacuate, evacuate now. In the dilapidated carriage, North Star Lorna frowned and looked up. Her electromagnetic induction had already sensed the fast and highly destructive Patriot missile. Faced with this technological crystallization that combines the wisdom and sweat of all humanity, Lorna's body trembled and her expression looked hopeless. This thing is too fast and heavy for her to control, and the distance is too far, far beyond her control range. Chapter 7 Destroying All Heat Rays, Seeking Flowers You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At this moment, the North Star had already arrived by Yi Ling's side. The two stood together at the door of the carriage, and she followed Yi Ling's gaze, but saw nothing. So Lorna activated her electromagnetic induction ability, and immediately, her face changed. Then, Lorna walked up to Yi Ling and fully unleashed her abilities. Her white jade-like hands were condensed with green light, and with the metal ring on her wrist and steel boots on her feet, she slowly lifted herself off the ground. The dark green hair drifted away with the wind, and the eyes of the green treasure with the same color as the hair sparkled with determination. Looking at the North Star girl in this state, Yi Ling thought to herself, although you look very beautiful with all your strength, you really can't handle that thing in the sky right now. 
If it were Lao Wan, it wouldn't be a patriot, even a hundred would be fine. But now Lorna can only say that the future is promising. As she thought about it, Yi Ling also took a step out, using her eyes to start accumulating strength and staring closely at the rapidly approaching trajectory. At this moment, Lorna is still gritting her teeth and persevering. Her body trembled and her forehead was covered in sweat. Her electromagnetic induction had already sensed the terrifying missile that was moving rapidly, bringing death and flames. Faced with this technological crystallization that embodies the wisdom of all humanity, Lorna tried her best but was unable to control it. This thing is too fast, the impact is too strong, and the distance is too far, far beyond her ability limit. Yi Ling Luana wanted Yi Ling to leave first, as there was still a possibility of escaping at the opponent's speed. Before she could finish speaking, Yi Ling looked up at the distant white spot with a tail flame. At that moment, two red-hot lines shot out from his eyes, directly bombarding the Patriot in the distance. The scorching red rays carried powerful kinetic energy and terrifying high temperatures, easily burning through the missile's casing. In just an instant, the Patriot flying at high speed was detonated and turned into a huge fireball in the sky. Then, Yi Ling gently shook her head, withdrew the heat rays, and looked at the stunned North Star, saying, what were you trying to say just now? Luana, the North Star, looked at Yi Ling in front of her for a long time, unable to speak. Is this guy really human? At this moment, Yi Ling's ears moved and she looked into the distance again. A black truck was running wildly. He didn't say a word, just another heat ray swept over. Boom! After a loud bang, the command vehicle belonging to the regulatory agency immediately overturned and began to burn fiercely. Looking at the flames in the distance, Lorna was a bit worried and said, from today on, they will do everything they can to get rid of you. Yi Ling looked righteous and said, as long as you are safe, it's okay with me. In Yi Ling's view, the group of waste from the regulatory agency is a mobile experience gift package. If he doesn't stand in front of all the mutants, he won't be able to gain a large amount of experience points and quickly level up in a short period of time. Moreover, there is a mutant plan in place, and Yi Ling cannot be left alone. It should be noted that according to this law, it is a crime for mutants to use their abilities in public places, even in self.defense. At the most outrageous times, even if you walk in a more aggressive posture or look too scary, you may be locked up directly. Yi Ling doesn't want to pick up her tail and be a good person. In that case, it's better to show her strength directly and let those people know who the father is. Upon hearing Yi Ling's passionate statement, Luana gave her an unusual look and then regained her usual aloof expression. Next, the two searched nearby and surprisingly found several hidden military jeeps. At this point, New York is not far away. If there is such a big commotion here, I believe it will soon be surrounded by the police or other strange departments. Without hesitation, Yi Ling and Luo Na started the vehicle and left this land of right and wrong. Half an hour later, Yi Ling and Lorna walked hand in hand to a five-dot star hotel. Yi Ling walked straight to the front desk of the hotel and said, book two of the best rooms. It is customary for a beautiful receptionist to ask some questions, which is the standard process for staying in a hotel. It's just that Yi Ling's appearance, physique, and aura are too domineering. Wearing ordinary clothes, he was forced to exude the aura of an emperor superstar. Faced with such a person, the front desk couldn't help but reduce the check that I end process to the shortest possible. The two people who received the key cards arrived at the top floor of this hotel. Before the two parted ways, Lorna whispered, be careful. Then she returned to her room without looking back faced with the cool and imposing North Star girl, Yi Ling smiled slightly and turned to enter the luxurious room next door. The first impression is that it is quite remarkable, the second impression is that the scenery is indeed good. From top to bottom, you can enjoy the bustling night view of New York. Looking at the brightly lit city under one's feet gives a sense of control from above. However, Yi Ling immediately set her gaze on the clouds, where he should be. 
The height of the top floor of this hotel is still too low for him, far from enough. While thinking, Yi Ling admired her current attributes with great anticipation. Name Yi Ling, Race Human Race, Bloodline Golden Superman, Age 16, Level Level 2, 20 300, Power 113, Agile 218, Physical Strength 107, Intelligence 100, Charm 101, Lucky 6, PS, Normal Adult Data is 10, Talent Beginner Speed, Achievement Crosser, Gold, Free Attribute Point 2, With only one day of sunlight absorbed, all of Yi Ling's attributes increased significantly. This growth rate is much faster than upgrading and adding points. The bloodline of Golden Superman is really too strong, and the increase brought by bloodline is not just that. When Yi Ling focused her attention on the bloodline item, a new prompt appeared above. The primary heat ray has been awakened. In addition to the previously awakened Junior Iron Body, the Golden Superman lineage has also awakened the ability to heat rays. During the day, Yi Ling relied on this ability to solve a crisis. Don't be fooled by the warning that it's just a basic ray, but Superman's heat rays are definitely not weak in terms of killing power. You should know that in the manga, Superman's heat rays can even surpass the core temperature of the sun. It can be seen from this how amazing the potential and power of thermal radiation are. Not to mention, Yi Ling still possesses a more promising golden superhero bloodline. Then, he focused his attention on the experience column, where the experience gained from this battle appeared. Among them, ordinary hyena soldiers still have 10 experience points per person, and their commanders have as high as 100 experience points. All of these were expected by Yi Ling. In addition, there are other experience tips. Destroy ordinary sentry robots and gain 30 experience points. Destroy the hunting dog weapon pulse to gain 100 experience points. The first prompt was repeated several times, and the second one was only once. According to the system settings, destroying such dead objects can also earn experience points, but they must be destroyed during combat to count. Becoming stronger in battle is the original game setting and selling point, which is also inherited by the Golden Finger system. However, this limitation does not affect the overall situation. The Golden Superman bloodline has slowly begun to exert its strength, especially after awakening the heat ray, Yi Ling's attack and defense are strong. Thermal radiation not only has astonishing destructive power, but is also an almost unavoidable ultra-long dot range attack making it very convenient and flexible to use. It can be said that it is a simple and unadorned strength. With this ability, in an era before superheroes were born, Yi Ling could walk horizontally. And as long as his golden superhero bloodline is fully established, even if purple potato spirit comes, he is not afraid. Finally, Yi Ling added a free attribute point to luck. Now it seems that this special attribute is the most difficult to improve, and can only be increased through free attribute points for the time being. Chapter 8 Supreme Bounty, Seeking Flowers, Seeking Collections You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, a secret meeting is being held at a secret military base. A highly intelligent expert with a very dangerous hairline is analyzing the data on the screen one by one for a middle-aged man with graying hair. Every piece of data surpasses the average person and is exchanged for the lives of soldiers. When these data are combined, it becomes Yi Ling's combat ability. The strategic team leader in front of the big screen exclaimed in amazement. His strength, speed, and defense have no weaknesses in any aspect and he also uses highly destructive high heat rays as a means of attack. We thought this person was not an ordinary body strengthening mutant, but an advanced mutant with special abilities. So what? The middle-aged man looked indifferent. Sensing the killing aura emanating from the old man, the person in charge changed his expression, but still gritted his head and said. General Allen, 
the members of our strategic team unanimously believed that conventional light weapons could not kill this mutant. Based on our analysis, as long as he doesn't leave the city, we have no way to take him. Upon hearing these words, General Allen looked disapproving. If the dead say they are alive and can withstand a missile, then let's launch ten or a hundred missiles. Perhaps his body is invincible, but as long as he is still a creature, there must be weaknesses. We rely on a great empire and can try many times. As long as we succeed once, it will be over. So, we must win. The deputy on the other side immediately said, there has been a lot of commotion during the day, and we can't take action openly next. General Allen completely sneered at this statement. Relying solely on the rhetoric and pen strokes of those useless politicians cannot protect our great and beautiful country. If it doesn't work on the surface, then do it secretly. Next, we will bite the prey until they are exhausted. After finishing these words, General Allen returned to his exclusive office, turned on the computer, picked up the satellite phone on the table, and ordered. Beaky, connect me to Air Force Lieutenant General Ross. Soon, a middle-aged man with a determined expression appeared on the computer screen. This person is the famous Thunderbolt General Ross. Alan, you made a lot of noise during the day. Is this time you're looking for me related to that matter? Ross had some curiosity in his heart about what kind of enemy would make Alan use a Patriot-level weapon, and ultimately failed. He thought only the monster he was chasing had such abilities. Without hesitation, General Allen went straight to the point. I have encountered some trouble, but it's okay, everything is still under my control. If my message is correct, that big green guy has also caused you a lot of trouble. Since we are all in trouble, why not join forces? According to intelligence, General Ross has been chasing the Hulk Bruce Banner for years. However, up to now, this Air Force Lieutenant General has not achieved his wish. Now Allen has also encountered the same problem. I don't need to work with anyone, General Ross said with a firm expression. General Allen raised his eyebrows. But haven't you achieved nothing in these years? If it continues like this, it's inevitable that someone will criticize you. If we gather the power and influence of the two of us, we can shut up against those noisy softies. At that time, we can also share intelligence and engage in in-depth strategic cooperation. After hearing these words, General Ross became interested and said, keep talking. He firmly believes that the Hulk banner is the hope of the super soldier program. Over the years, General Ross has been chasing banner around the world, but to no avail. Part of the reason is that some institutions and forces are not very cooperative. If we can work together with Alan, it can indeed reduce these concerns. Next, the two began friendly negotiations on the details of cooperation and new combat plans. In the end, General Ross went offline with a satisfied expression on his face. In the office, Lt. Gen. Allen, who lit a cigar, pondered for a while before dialing Campbell's phone. Listen to me, I allow adventure but not failure. I will give you and your group one last chance to solve all the troubles, and I will have mainland hotels cooperate with you. He knew that it would be difficult for Campbell and mainland hotels to handle Yi Ling. At the very least, it can have a disruptive effect. It would be great if he could exhaust the prey during his final hunt. New York Continental Hotel, Campbell pushed the door in and walked into this seemingly ordinary luxury hotel. Then, he arrived at the front desk. A tall and approachable black man glanced at him and said, I'm sorry, our store is only open to members. My name is Campbell, I have a token. After speaking, Campbell took out a badge with a consistent radiance from his pocket. His palms were slightly sweating. The defeat during the day caused Campbell's position and influence to plummet. Fortunately, General Allen has a strong influence, allowing Campbell to mobilize the resources and manpower of mainland hotels. As long as we solve the Yi Ling and obtain the experimental materials, everything can be back on track. Mr. Campbell, I am Sharon. It's my pleasure to serve you. 
Karen recognized the badge and pointed to a dedicated elevator next to him, saying, Take the elevator directly to the top floor, where will our manager be waiting for you? Campbell nodded without any hesitation and walked directly into the elevator to meet with the mysterious hotel manager. In the eyes of ordinary people, mainland hotels are just ordinary hotels. Although there are chain stores around the world, they are not open to the public. But in the eyes of some in need, this is the warmth of sin and the paradise of assassins. Mainland hotels provide comprehensive services for assassins and criminals in the underground world. To some extent, mainland hotels are the order and rulers of the underground world. The manager of this mysterious hotel holds control over many criminals and assassins. Welcome, my guest. I am Winston, the manager of this hotel. Winston, with deep and sharp eyes, was sitting on the sofa, carefully scrutinizing Campbell as if trying to fully see through him. I am Campbell, I want to post a mission, I want to kill someone. Campbell directly explained his intention. Please have a seat Winston gestured to Campbell to take a seat while slowly pouring out two glasses of blood red wine from a bottle. After pouring the wine, he pushed one of the glasses towards Campbell. Campbell, who sat down, thanked him and took the glass of wine. He worked hard to calm down and began drinking in small sips. At this moment, Winston spoke up, if it's just murder, you can definitely post tasks online without having to spend so much effort meeting me. After taking a hard sip of the wine, Campbell said seriously. Because the person I want to kill is not an ordinary person, ordinary assassins have no choice but to deal with such monsters. I want to post the highest permission bounty. Chapter 9 Staring at my baby, seeking flowers, seeking collections. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At midnight, Yi Ling was bathing in the moonlight in her room. The moon tonight is very big and round, casting a cold radiance. After becoming Superman, except for yesterday's special situation, Yi Ling always felt that there was an endless amount of energy available. He stayed up in the middle of the night not to admire the moon, nor to pay homage to a fake version of Superman and launch Crescent Sky Rush. Yi Ling was observing the airflow around him, and an invisible force was emanating from his entire body. In a closed room, the air exhibits abnormal flow. The debris and dust floating around him prove that this power truly exists. Seeing this, Yi Ling nodded secretly, indicating that the abilities of the Golden Superman bloodline were gradually being developed. At this moment, the North Star Lorna suddenly woke up from her sleep. After waking up, she waved her right hand without hesitation, and the green light shone. The metal table placed in front of the bed immediately blocked the way. Suddenly, Lorna saw a depression on the thick metal platform, with a specially designed armor-piercing bullet embedded on it. Immediately afterwards, she heard the sound of glass shattering. Obviously, someone was sniping themselves with a powerful sniper rifle at this time. Looking at the non-dot-metallic bullet on the metal platform, Lorna, wearing a teddy bear pajama, couldn't help but sweat profusely on her forehead. This is also because the material has undergone demagnetization treatment, and its speed even exceeds the speed of sound. If Lorna had not activated her ability to protect herself in time, she would have died with a head bang. Then, Lorna flipped over and arrived under the bed, using her ability to sense the surrounding situation. In an instant, a few bullets whizzed in with precision. Lorna exerted all her strength and used a metal platform as a shield to constantly block bullets. She pondered calmly. The enemy's marksmanship is precise, the rhythm is perfect, and they must be a professional assassin. Moreover, this guy seems to be able to lock onto my position. While she was thinking, Lorna heard screams and muffled noises coming from the next room. Obviously, Yi Ling was also attacked, and her treatment was much better than her own. The main target of the attackers is still Yi Ling. Although Lorna is willing to help, she can't do anything now. Faced with such long dot range sniping, Lorna had no good way to deal with it except for passive defense. And even if they hide here, the enemy's bullets never stop, constantly shooting towards them with precision. 
If it weren't for Lorna's ability to protect herself, she would have been beaten into a sieve long ago. As she thought, she took out her phone and turned on the camera, using her ability to control the phone and slowly fly outside to check the situation. As soon as the phone flew, it was hit and shot down by a bullet. Damn it! Lorna cursed, her nerves tensed even more. On the distant rooftop of the building, a middle dot aged man was observing Lorna's every move with indifference through an infrared scope. It's impossible for you to escape, I've already locked you down. The killer's expression was natural and calm, even mutants are just like that. Mainland hotels are not ordinary criminal groups, they are a tightly organized empire of assassins. Its power permeates every aspect of society, with over 100,000 registered assassins. Some of these assassins are just part-time workers, while others have experienced countless battles and have members in various industries. And this assassin stands tall at the top of the assassin pyramid, only one step away from the top legendary assassin. According to the classification from A to S levels, this assassin is an A.level assassin who has completed a series of difficult tasks with remarkable strength. Not all the prey he targets will explode and die, with one exception. Just as the assassin was about to pull the trigger and continue to suppress Lorna, a voice came from behind. I found you, little bug. The middle-aged assassin immediately put down his sniper rifle, picked up the backup pistol next to him, and turned around to shoot, be well prepared. Immediately, his scalp tingled, and his originally smooth and almost instinctive movements froze. He stared blankly at the young man soaring in the sky. The tall and perfect figure was quietly suspended in the air, gazing down at him like a divine mansion. As the young man in the sky flew freely without any external assistance, the middle-aged assassin couldn't help but imagine four words in his mind. The God of the World Since ancient times, flying has been humanity's greatest dream. Gravity is both an eternal constraint on humanity and an indispensable protection. Those who have overcome gravity are destined to surpass sentient beings and the earth. Now Yi Ling is the one who overcomes gravity. This is another ability of the Golden Superman bloodline, and also a hallmark of Superman's ability. Flying Awakening this ability, Yi Ling conquered the earth and sky, and suddenly felt that the world was vast and could be easily conquered. Flight is truly free and unrestrained. At this moment, Yi Ling looked at the middle-aged man whose face had changed greatly and said calmly, Marcus. In my memory, this guy is a supporting role in the Fast Pursuit series, with many scenes, which is the classic, Give Me My Dog Life series. However, this Marcus has great strength and was initially employed by the villain. He had a chance to kill John Wick. Just because of the past friendship, not only did they not shoot John, but they also repeatedly saved their original assassination targets. In the end, Marcus, who had violated taboos, was solved by the angry gang leader. It's just that Marcus's sniping skills are superb, which is only in the realm of mortals and poses no threat to Yi Ling. Now, the middle-aged assassin Marcus finally remembered that this extraordinary guy was their main target. He thought about the information about the task objectives and his mind completely calmed down. This is just the ability of mutants. While thinking, Marcus pulled the trigger hard. Look straight at my offspring. With a soft shout, Yi Ling, who was flying in the air, activated a heat ray. A red light flashed, and Marcus's body flew backwards, forming a very familiar appearance. After easily killing the gold medal assassin, Yi Ling slowly landed on the rooftop and picked up a strange shaped gold coin from the ground. Then, Yi Ling jumped up and down directly from a hundred meters away. At this moment, in the corner below the hotel building, two drunken men are engaged in friendly communication. Hey buddy, did you see that thing flying in the sky? Is it a bird or an airplane? One of the drunkards pointed at the sky, looking frightened as if he had seen a ghost. The other drunkard looked up at the sky and only saw a circular moon, stuttering. The round one will emit light, it must not be a bird, it can only be an airplane. It makes sense. Chapter 10 
The gods of the human world, seeking flowers, seeking subscription. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. In the presidential suite on the highest floor of the New York Hotel, Lorna was calmly alert. Until now, she has not given up using her ability to perceive the outside world. I just don't know why, but her sniper rifle suddenly stalled for half a day without any movement. Because she was afraid that this was the enemy's plan, Lorna did not appear for a moment. At that moment, she heard a sound of knocking on the glass, as if someone was knocking outside the window. Upon hearing this voice, Lorna's expression changed and she was completely stunned. You should know that this is a nearly 100 meter tall building, and the glass of this hotel is all enclosed. There is no balcony or anything outside. Who can knock on the window in a place where they can't get up or down? With a wave of Lorna's right hand, a shiny piece of metal on the ground immediately flew up. The expected gunshot did not appear, and Lorna looked at the tilted metal plate in the sky. Then, she vaguely saw a familiar figure and froze again. It was Yi Ling who was knocking on the window like a ghost outside. The other person was suspended quietly in the air, but the key was that they had neither ropes nor anything to stand on. Is this flying? Lorna was amazed in her heart. Ordinary mutants only have one ability, but Yi Ling performs almost a new trick every day. Luna couldn't figure out what Yi Ling's mutant ability was, and it was just too abnormal. As she thought, she crawled out of bed. At this point, Lorna had already done facial expression management and her expression became incredibly calm. Then, without hesitation, she waved her hand and a piece of metal immediately flew out, cutting open the glass of the building. After entering the room, Yi Ling looked at the messy room and then at the window that kept pouring in cool air. Let's stay in the same room from now on, otherwise we won't be able to afford it. Lorna didn't object or agree, just looked at the distant building and said, is there no problem over there? Yi Ling nodded and said, but that guy died too quickly. I didn't ask for any useful information. Lorna didn't care about this, just make sure it's the enemy. But this gold coin has already given the answer. Yi Ling took out the gold coin that fell from the assassin's body in her hand. Lorna reached out and the gold coin had already flown into her hand. Taking a glance at the gold coin in her hand, she was somewhat puzzled and said, What is this? Is it some kind of token? Mainland Hotels Yi Ling said calmly in the room, after listening to Yi Ling's description of the mainland hotel, Lorna understood their situation and said, So, did we get into a killer group? Thinking of the information in her memory, Yi Ling shrugged and said, It's not that we provoked it, it's that it provoked us. Yi Ling obviously didn't care about this so dot called Assassin Empire. Even if this organization has a large number of members spread all over the world. It's not feasible for him to kill elephants with ants. On the top floor of a mainland hotel in New York, the hotel manager Winston was drinking red wine and reading the newspaper. At this moment, the hotel butler Sharon walked in and whispered in her ear, Sir, Marcus, and the others have all failed. After a slight pause, Winston put down the newspaper and showed a thoughtful expression. Quickly, his expression calmed down and he said, continue to increase the reward amount. If you still can't succeed after 24 hours, withdraw the reward. Karen looked at Winston with some confusion and said, is that okay? Winston smiled and said, our hotel is a place for selling services, and theoretically we can maintain neutrality. There is no need to offend a strong enemy for Campbell's sake. This world is very cruel and dangerous. Mainland hotels have been able to survive and continue to grow, not through violence but through order. The order of darkness is also order and civilization. Only civilization can create empires. Winston saw this very clearly. So, mainland hotels have been carefully navigating between various forces. In the New York Hotel, Lorna and Yi Ling, dressed in teddy bear pajamas, have arrived at the new presidential suite. Their previous two rooms were unusable, not only were the windows completely shattered, but they were also in a mess. 
The room where Yiling is located has directly become a crime scene. So Lorna activated her abilities and directly opened a new room. The reason why Yi Ling and Luo Na are not worried about the trouble on the police side is because they know that the mainland hotel will take the initiative to clean up the scene. In this regard, the relationship between mainland hotels is very strong, and it is not an exaggeration to say that they are well informed. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been no relevant personnel inquiring yet. After entering the room, Lorna glanced around and saw the only big bed. She couldn't help but think of the scene when the two of them hugged each other at the small inn, and Lorna's expression was somewhat unnatural. However, she soon regained her composure. Yi Ling opened the refrigerator and handed a bottle of beer to Lorna. Speaking of which, the laws of beautiful countries are also very peculiar. Citizens can get married and obtain a driver's license at the age of 16, hold a gun openly, but cannot drink alcohol before the age of 20.1. Yi Ling couldn't figure out why. However, no one can try him anyway. Yi Ling is not as kind as Superman. If you want to morally kidnap him, let them see what a Chinese person is. As the leader of the underground organization of mutants, Lorna has long been a lawless maniac. She naturally didn't care about these optional legal provisions, took the beer and took a beautiful sip. Then, Lorna became curious and said, What are your abilities? Why can you combine multiple abilities in one? I call it the god of the world. Yi Ling said seriously. Upon hearing this title, Lorna immediately thought of something and said with some uncertainty, Superman. Yi Ling didn't say it was okay, but when she said it, she felt a strong sense of immediacy. Even though Lorna doesn't know much about comics, she still knows about Superman's various powerful abilities. Speaking of which, Superman and Yi Ling have very similar abilities. Yi Ling was taken aback for a moment before realizing that Marvel World also had DC Comics.